Are you a writer who can't seem to find the time to write? You're not alone. Finding the time to write, that's the topic on today's show. Let's go. Hey, guys and gals, boys and girls, authors and author wannabes. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Your old buddy Tim Knox here, as usual, dispensing all kinds of wit, wisdom and sage advice all designed to hopefully make you a better writer. Hey, quick reminder, if you are an author and you like what we do on this show, we basically talk about all things authoring. Uh, do me a favor, click the like button below, click subscribe, click the bell notification icon, and you will be notified by YouTube every time we do. I do one of these videos. And uh, yeah, we will hopefully together make you a better writer. So basically what I do on this show is I answer questions uh, submitted by viewers either in the comments below or online on Facebook. And if I do use your question uh, in a video, you get a free digital copy of one of my books. It's almost as good as winning the lottery. Almost. Uh, Robert. Robert is going to be getting a copy of one of my books because Robert submitted this question via email. Uh, Tim, I am a writer, but I also have a full-time job. I can barely find time to turn around, much less write. Can you help? Wow. You know, Robert, this is one that I, uh, I not only hear this a lot, but I am faced with this a lot because uh, typically when you are a writer, especially in the beginning stages before you've ever sold a single book and you are not deriving any income from your writing, you probably have a day job and uh, you probably have a, a wife or a husband and kids and commitments. You know, if you got kids, Jesus, they're in every activity under the sun. I can remember when I was a kid, you know, 50 years ago, uh, if I had told my dad that I wanted to go to to day camp or archery camp or take uh, tap lessons or whatever, my old man would have looked at me like I was crazy. Nowadays, boy, don't get me started. That's a whole nother video, Robert. Sorry about that. So the, uh, the point is we're all busy people. So if you feel the need to write, and that's the only reason I would carve out time to do it, Robert, is if you honestly feel the need to write, if you've got a story just gnawing at your brain that you have to get out on paper, uh, you have to find time to write. My first question is, what are you spending all your time doing now? Again, if you're like most folks, well, you might have a job. You get up at, you know, the crack of dawn. For example, I have to get up and, and feed. Uh, I've got nine dogs here at the Knox Compound for Wayward Dogs. I have to get them all fed, get them all outside, get my coffee, get my shower, get in my chair. You know, my business, I do full-time editing, ghost writing, uh, coaching. Uh, I'm usually in this chair eight, ten hours a day. Uh, then about the time that I get tired of doing that, my wife comes in from work. My daughter comes in from school. I want to spend some time with them and on and on it goes. So if your schedule is like mine, uh, finding time to write means identifying those meager time periods during the day or evening when you can write. So I have two choices. I can either get up at four or five in the morning and write for an hour, or I can wait until everyone's in bed and write for a couple hours and on into the night. And that's how I did it. I'm not a, I'm not a morning person, Robert, the fingers, the brains, very few things work in the morning. Uh, so I would write late at night. I would write weekends. I would write on my lunch hour. You can go back and look at the stories of some of the most famous authors on the planet, J.K. Rowling, um, uh, Dave Ramsey, um, um, who's the guy, John Grisham. All of them will tell stories about how they wrote uh, either in the morning over coffee. J.K. Rowling, I believe, would go to a little coffee shop there. She lived in a very meager apartment, uh, and she would go to a little coffee shop and write. John Grisham was a practicing lawyer. I guarantee you he was busier than you or me at the time. But he would write on his lunch hour. He would write, write late at night. Uh, I mentioned Dave Ramsey, really successful uh, financial author. Same kind of thing. You write, Robert, when you can find the time to write. I know the, the advice here is free because that's what it's worth. But really, that is the bottom line. You've got two options, Robert. You can either write when you find the time or you can set aside a block of time on a regular basis and write then. 
That's what I recommend if you are disciplined enough to do that, because then the writing becomes part of your daily routine. Robert, let's say you normally get up at 6.30, 7 o'clock. Well, what if you got up at 5.30 and started to write? Quiet time. No one else is up. The house is quiet. You know, the sun's just coming up. You get a cup of coffee. You sit down and you knock out, you know, a thousand words over the course of an hour. Or maybe you do it over your lunch hour. I'm going to assume that you have a lunch hour. You could write then. Uh, I have had clients that actually, they didn't write when they had time. They dictated. I had one client in particular who had a three-hour commute, I think, going and coming uh, in the morning and in the afternoon, and he had a, a recorder. He started off with a voice recorder and ended up using his phone, and basically what he would do is as he was driving, he was dictating the story into the phone. And then he had someone who would take that dictation and transcribe it for him for a few bucks an hour. This is a, an offshore uh, person. Then he would take that on the weekends. He usually had three or four hours on Sunday afternoon when nobody was driving him nuts. And that's when he would edit what he did during the week. So you've got to get creative, Robert. It's great if you can get on a schedule simply because it becomes part of the routine. It's easier to stick with. Uh, but you've got to write when you have time. There is no magic bean. There's no magic bullet, Robert. We've all got 24 hours in the day. You figure out when you can spare an hour or two here and there. And that's when you write or you dictate or you simply sit and think. Because a lot of writers don't even think about what they're going to write before they sit down. Maybe for the first couple of months, you just formulate that story in your head and then you worry about carving out time to write. So, Robert, there you go. I hope that was helpful. Again, that's one of those questions. There is no pat answer. It really comes down to you, uh, your life, your lifestyle, everything you have going on and the, the time you can carve out. But if you can just carve out an hour a day, just an hour a day. If you can write, you know, if you're doing a 30,000 word uh, novelette, for example, and you can do 300 words a day, well, over the course of a couple of months, you're going to have a book. All right. But keep in mind, the writing is just the first step, Robert, because once it's written, then you have to go back and edit. And you're probably going to send me a question going, hey, Tim, uh, when can I find time to, to edit? So there you go. I hope that was helpful, Robert. I appreciate your question. Just because I used your question in a video, you are going to get a digital copy of one of my books, and I hope you enjoyed that. I, I took some time writing those, I guarantee you. And that's a really quick edition here. My first book, it took me, I probably worked on that damn book two or three years because I was doing exactly what we just talked about. I was catching a few minutes here and a few minutes there and late nights, weekends. So it took me a long time to write that book. Now, when I wrote my second novel, I was a full-time writer and I could sit down and actually devote time to it. So again, it depends on what you've got going on in your life and when you can find the time. Hey, if you enjoy what we talk about on this channel, and God forbid you don't because this is some good stuff here, you know, uh, do me a big favor. I want you to click like. I want you to subscribe. I want you to uh, click the bell notification. And above all, I want you to uh, hopefully become a better writer based on what we talk about here on this channel. And if you want to submit a question or comment, do so below. And again, if I use your question or comment, boom, grand prize, you get a digital copy of one of my books. All right, Robert, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully it was helpful to everybody. We've all got 24 hours in the day. The bottom line is it is up to you how you carve them up and use them. All right, that's going to do it. I'm going to go write something, I think. I've inspired myself, and I have an extra 30 minutes before I have to take the dogs out, uh, hopefully, because they're starting to bark. Hey, that's it. Go away. Go write something great. Go on. You're running out of time. Thank you.